My name is Nathan Ryder. After four years of training and traveling the world, I finally learned my family's true legacy. Now, I will fulfill my family's last code to protect those who cannot protect themselves. To do this, to honor my fallen family's legacy, I must become someone else. I must become something else. Nathan Ryder, I presume. Hi. You must be... Delson. My friends call me Del. But you can call me Delson. It's nice to meet you. Now what can I do for you, Mr. Ryder? You don't have to do anything for me. I'm your personal bodyguard and assistant. I've worked two tours, and I've learned that I have to listen to higher-ups and obey what they say. My assistant? Yes. I'll do anything you need and get you anything you want. Well, now that you mentioned it, I have two things on my mind. Oh, and they are? I want a deep dish roni and spinach pizza from Lomonati's. Very well, that can be arranged. And what is the other thing? I am interested in a part of the company. And what part would that be, sir? Applied sciences, actually. Outcomes department? But pizza comes first. Of course, sir. Is it? You can tell me. I don't trust Max. What do you mean? I don't know. I, I feel like he's hiding something. You worry too much. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> but did I ever tell you you're the smartest girl I've ever known? No. I love you. I work three blocks away, and it takes the death of Andrew Ryder to make you take a visit? <laughs> well, three blocks away, and we're both busy men. Yes, it's true. I, I'm, uh... I'm here to tell you that I looked deeper into the Andrew and Kibley Ryder case. And? And I think it was assassination, sir. Are you saying someone put a hit out on them? For how much? <sighs> Roughly 30 million in U.S. dollars. Do you know who the assassin was? No, not yet, anyway. Detective Mahoney's working on that as we speak. Good, so as soon as you find out who, let me know. Well, do, Mr. Mayor. What did I say? Me too. Are you Malcolm West? I'm Malcolm West. What are you looking for? Pretty much anything, I guess. Alright, follow me. Oof, so these lovely pieces of technology are called electrostics. <laughs> they look just like Eskrima sticks. No, well, they are just high-tech Eskrima sticks. And what do they do? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let me tell you, first of all, while you're fighting, you build momentum. The more momentum you build, the faster your sticks charge. When the sticks are fully charged, then what? While you're beating the snot out of those goons, they also get electroshocks, along with your strikes, which make the hits ten times more powerful. What's that? This. Watch this. Touch the middle part like this, and voila, it's gone. That is amazing. I know, right? It's the Invisibelt. These are all very impressive. Let me guess, they're all your creations. <laughs> of course. Of course they're all impressive. Everything I showed you today is even waterproof. Really? <laughs> nice! So what caught your eye? I'll take them. Which ones? All of it. Alright, all of it is. 
What are you hiding, Mr. Mayor? What the fuck are you hiding? Hey, Sarge. Yes, sir. I'll leave her right now. This fellow was taken five years ago when me and your father first met. You and my dad? Were you close? At times, yes, but at others, no. But I hope me and you will have a better relationship than me and your father had. I, uh, hope so as well, sir. You know, despite all this messy and the handshaking, that the city you love has to be torn down in order for something new to be born, and that will make enemies. That's something my father would always tell me. He's a wise man. That he was. But it makes sense. All those people that would call you dirty because you got the guts to try and build something better. And the idea that, the, that those people could be happy today makes me really pissed off. I'm sorry, sir. You have to excuse me. I have a lot of work to do. No problem, Nathan. You have big shoes to fill. My friend was murdered. I'm trying to find out by him. You should, too. Understood. Alright Nathan, there are only two thugs out there and we should be fine on this one. Perfect! I like it easy! Jimmy? Jimmy? Are you okay? Name's Delson. I'm uh, looking for uh, Nathan. He's not in his office. Do you happen to know where he is? Uh, Nathan's out at the moment right now. Really? He's not back yet? So is that all you came here for then? Well, uh, when he comes back, just let me know, alright? Sure. I'll do that. Thank you. No problem. You know he didn't have to murder that guy back there. Murder? Let me tell you something about murder. When you kill a wild animal, is that murder? That son of a bitch was killing innocent lives. I put him out of his misery. You should be thanking me. I don't know who you think you are, but you got no right to decide who lives or dies. Guess what, my friend? I've been given the right to. Is this how the dragonfly fights? Come on, dragonfly. Where are you? Come. Oh, Nathan, you're pretty good, but I'm better. How did you know? It's your destiny to become the dragonfly, just like it was your parents' destiny to die in that plane crash. Who are you? Oh, you already know who I am, Nathan. Well, so long, my friend. Don't get swatted. Nathan, you alright? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Really? Because you've been like that for hours, man. Yeah. So what are we doing here? 
I was explaining the science behind the Dragnanium metal, which your Mark II suit is completely made out of. So are we done? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, I could go into the details and how the Dragnanium was made. I'll go. Are we done here? Yeah, we're done here. I am working on a new weapon for you. Cool. You can show me that later. I'll be back in three hours. Dragonfly, so you do exist. Victor Petrelli, you have dishonored this city. And how did I do that? You lied. You killed Andrew and Kimberly, Ryder. You hired the assassin Silencer to kill them. And for that, you'll pay for your deception. I admire uh, your convictions that one man can stop me. How about this? I'll go to the police and I'll tell them that I killed Kimberly. Andrew Ryder. I'll do some time. In three months, I'm coming for you. I'll be waiting. Hey, Emily. Uh, I don't know if you're still in New York with your cousin or on the plane. That's why you're not getting this. Um, but I got some great news. Vigil Bertrilli, you know, the mayor of Chicago, he just confessed that he hired the assassin that killed Andrew and Kimberly Ryder. I'm heading back to the office now to help the Sarge uh, put the papers through for the processing for the DA. But the point is, we finally have another head of the Battalion Crime family behind bars. This city is finally going to be clean of the cruelly corrupt. That's all thanks to this vigilante, the Dragonfly, who actually has the guts to get up and do something about it do something that us cops are too afraid to do. Uh, so just call me back when you get this, or I'll just tell you the rest when you come, when you come back here to Chicago. Alright, that's it. Bye.